Hey guys, Majeffries here and welcome back to Majeffries Plays Feed the Beast. We are here on the MC Alliance server and I have some cool things I want to show you. First of all, those slime slimy leaves or whatever they're called, they're still existing right now, so I'll try and get rid of them. That's something I should really be doing off camera actually, so I'll worry about that some other time. Um this big empty area hopefully will start getting filled soon. I've no idea what's going to go in here, but this building Oh, bit of lag. This building, our railway station, is going to be finished very, very soon. And I'm really optimistic about actually getting it done and, and doing it to the best of my abilities. And the reason that's so is because this. It's just an elevator block. It doesn't look very special at all. But if you watch the last episode, you'll know exactly where we are right now. This is the entrance to the squid farm. So if I scoot down one level, this is the top layer. If I jump up here, you can see the pillars um, that I've placed in, just so that the water actually had somewhere to go, and it also water has to be next to a solid block for it to travel downwards. These middle blocks here, I don't actually know how they work. Not a clue. Um, this is a little passageway I dug just to get on top when I was working on this. I used a floodgate to fill this in, which is why there's a an end section here, because for some reason the two glass panes that I had in this place got lost when the floodgate was removed. Um, but I like the fact that we have little mods like that. It's almost like mini cheats. And if I come down this level, now I was half expecting to see some squid down here, but at the moment there doesn't seem to be any. I would dig this block out and actually show you what it looks like in there, but the vacuum chests are very, very happy at snatching things away from me. But it's basically, you can sort of see how it goes. The signs keep the water above a certain level. We have some blocks, uh, like in there, there's another set of blocks, just so that the water will flow around the blocks and down the sides instead. And every now and then I pop down here just to see how it's getting on. And there's normally about six or seven squid at the bottom. Uh, and what happens is they suffocate because they're supposed to live in water, they can't survive in just air. So they suffocate and die, and their drops get taken into that vacuum chest or into that vacuum chest and then there's some item conduit that runs underneath those which brings it up to here and you can see we're getting quite a lot of ink this is the same day that I recorded Saturday's episode and as you can see we have got over two, nearly three stacks of ink sacks which I'm very very happy with so I'm actually going to take some of this ink I'm going to leave a stack there just so I know that we've still got some to hand if, ne if uh, necessary and I'm going to bring it up here I'm really should block this area off so I can't take shortcuts anymore. I need a staff of travelling and for that to happen I need a soul binder. So I'm hoping someone joins the server soon who knows how to make soul binders because I haven't got a clue. But I definitely know I need one. Anyway, come up to the ME system, uh, just get rid of that, that's when I was making elevator blocks. We'll throw this stuff in. Now what do I want to make? I could do with making some more signals. Um, now I've, I've looked at these dual head block signals and I don't really get what they're supposed to do I just there's, there's nothing really about them that jumps out maybe it's a bit more advanced for my knowledge at the moment uh, I tend to use, to use the block signals and the receivers and the controllers I don't even use this analog stuff or the capacitors or the sequence sequencer, sequencer. Uh, the interlock and I certainly don't use the relays because I haven't got a clue. I mean in real life I know what they do but I don't know how that transfers over onto this game. I don't know whether they work exactly like they would do in the real world or not. Um, what I do know is we have some signal circuits here and we have some lamps. The only thing we needed was ink sacks and we can actually make ourselves some more signals and it's probably not a good idea that I do that right now thinking about it because what we actually need to do to check the hook. He sends me messages from time to time so it's always nice for me to just actually check <coughs> so it doesn't look like I'm ignoring him. Uh, so yes, what we actually need to do is hop down here. Now this is why having the glider was a good thing because I'm currently showing you what it's like to do it without a glider and the shortcut is just glide off the top of the stairs down onto this section. But what today's episode is basically going to do is turn this into a fully functioning two platform station with an island platform in the center and then over here a four train storage area with refueling points that's the crucial bit with refueling 
so that the trains can actually refuel sat here whilst they're waiting for a free platform they don't have to go around the loop again because obviously this is a one-way system once you're in here you're in here so you might as well have it that you're stuck here if you're in the platform or if the trains in the platform and is waiting then yes it can eventually it's got to make sure that the hooks not building on top of my railway um, yep that's cool once you're in this section here then you can cut across and then head back but again I need to actually find a way of doing that um, here will probably be a good place to actually cut that tunnel like that and then just dig through here like that because this section hasn't been blocked yet then that works fine same with this bit and same with this bit heading off in that direction this will all eventually be block section and I still need to find a way to unload this because it's still got some stuff in here like coal, salt, amber, um, appetite, all that kind of stuff can actually be quite helpful just need to find a way to uh, get it to an unloader because I could do it by hand but then what's the point that's what I say it'll be a lot easier to actually do it um, using machinery because I'm lazy like that I put all my effort into making machines I don't actually put much effort into using machines no wait that's not right I put my effort into making machines I don't put my effort into doing the job that the machine I've made does for me that's what I meant to say right shortcut back glider on whoops that didn't go to plan there we go right what do I want um, what I want isn't actually up here actually no I think it is up here I think I threw it into the system up here let's find out I remember I threw all different kinds of track in here at one point when I was uh, working um, no that's quite surprising actually what I want isn't in here in that case it'll be down in my workshop which means another voyage so what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to jump down here go into my little workshop which is now securely hidden behind this black curtain at least it is if you're in the station you don't even know it's there so I'm going to go in here grab my track and start building the line uh, here it is point track and I will come back after this we'll have a little jump cut here when we come back we should have the track work done and then it's all about actually completing um, the sort of aesthetics of the station so I will see you guys in a little bit okay guys we are back I have laid the track down in the station I will show you guys what that looks like towards the end of this episode because something I need to work on now which I've only just found out is we don't have much quartz around here I haven't checked these chests over here so actually I'm probably gonna find there's loads of quartz over here is there there's a fair amount I can use some of this quartz uh, but one of the issues that we have now on this server is a lack of quartz so what I'm going to do is set up some kind of quarry system inside the nether and it's going to be really basic there's going to be nothing really special about it it's just going to be purely um, a basic mining system just to make sure that we get as much as we can basically um, what do I want? yellow this is what I need it for I'm going to use yellow lines along the edge of my platform so people don't cross the line until the train arrives and for that I need quartz you see here we've got quartz now I can make blocks of quartz this way and I can make 21 blocks which if I then put it back into here I can make another 21 of these colored blocks but I'm going to need more than that and the server as a whole is going to need more quartz so I think it's only fair that I actually start contributing that little bit more to the server I don't do much in terms of creating things so I'm actually going to set this up so I'm going to get a basic quarry which we don't have so I'm going to have to make one and that's not going to be easy uh, stone gear do I need that stone gear do we have wooden gear let's check oh we do cool let's just grab a handful of them can I get more? yep 
There we go. Diamond gear. I believe we need two of them. Um, a diamond pickaxe. Going to need one of them, and then I should have everything I need. Oh, what am I missing? An iron gear. Ah, oh, two iron gears. That's what I'm missing. There we are. Two iron gears, job done. Right. So that's that one done. Next thing we need is an ender chest. Uh, which I can get like that. Do we have all the parts? Oh, we're missing a blaze rod. We should have enough blaze powder though. Right, so blaze powder in a compressor makes a blaze rod. Is that the way to do it? I'm oh, sure there's a better way of doing it than that. Let's go down to our mob farm. We might actually have a blaze spawner down here. Do we have a blaze spawner? Oh, we don't. Okay, in that case I'm going to need blaze powder and a compressor. This is full, by the way, this mob farm. Full of ender pearls, full of ender fragments, um, full of string, arrows, bone, confusing powder. Yeah, we're, we're full. We are full. Have to work on that as well. Our mining lasers don't seem to actually be bringing anything up at the moment. And whilst we're down here, I'm just going to check what the configuration of this ender chest is. Um, let me just destroy that quickly. White, blue, white. That's what it is. Where's the. I didn't destroy it, did I? Uh uh. <laughs> oh no, it's over here. Phew. For a second there, I thought I'd ruined it. Right, and then I put this upgrade on it. Look at everything fly out of here. Shoots away. Our ender quarry is still going. Can you believe that, guys? It's still going. It just doesn't seem to want to stop. That is crazy. But I'm going to hook up the nether quarry onto this. So it's going to go through this same system. Because our mining lasers go through here as well. Uh, through the furnace and the pulverizers. There's a good example. We've got aluminium ore going through there at the moment. But our mining lasers seem to have just ground to a halt. And I need to get up there and actually check why that is. Laser drill, here we go. Laser focus white. Uh, it's got no energy. That could be a reason why. Are these actually being set up properly? Oh wow. Oh no, that one's getting energy. That one's working. So what about these ones? These ones working. This one hasn't got focus on it. Might need to find a better way of uh, of getting power to these. Yes. I'll I'll fix that off camera. It's probably the best way of doing it. That goes all the way down to bedrock, look at that. Massive hole. I'm glad that doesn't get in the way of my railway because I would be stuffed if that was the case. Right, so what am I doing? Getting blaze powder. We do have a compressor somewhere, I believe. I hope. One of these is a compressor. Block smasher, sawmill, sag mill, fluid transponder, magma crucible, induction smelter. Has I got something inside it? I don't know. Hardened energy cell, chest, pulverizer. Maybe we don't have a compressor. Okay, compressor. Doing a lot of this work on camera and not being able to spell. Ah, we do have a compressor, it's just not plugged in. Okay, compressor. Now I need to find an EU circuit to actually plug this into, which I don't believe we have. I want to create steam boilers at some point um, and steam turbines so that would use EU quite easily. Down here this is Hook's base I believe we have it says compressed below so I think he's actually, are these all ender check? bloody hell he's been busy somewhere he'll have a compressor 
that's not working anymore that's his power station through here aha there we go this is his, where his power is collected oh yes look at that I can charge my armor in here if I wanted to right um, so actually if these are MFSU's does that mean I can put a compressor down here does that start getting power I don't know am I out of, oh, I'm out of range I need to go back over here somewhere in fact is this connected up to our I don't know whether this is his own ME system yeah it looks like it is so I'm not going to steal from him that would be wrong that would be oh so wrong actually are these compressors furnaces macerator 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 blast blast furnace crikey he's got some real aggressive sounding machines uh, molecular transformer I'm not going to experiment with that in case I end up in a different dimension what's he got in here this is just the back of his yeah it's just the back of his ME system oh he's got some stuff over there metal former how the hell do I get over this I just want to see what these are canning machine metal former energy acceptor oh is this the underside of his um, reservoir that could be the underside of his building up top so I'm not going to play around with that I shouldn't really be in here shouldn't be playing around with his machines but I want to see if I can macerate this stuff so I'm going to put a cut in here guys when we come back hopefully I'll have this stuff macerated I don't mean macerated I mean compressed so yes I will see you guys so in a little guys. bit our ender quarry uh, not ender quarry, our nether quarry sorry I'm getting confused here this is what it looks like, this is what it does hopefully all the blocks that are being dug out are going into this ender chest it looks like they are so that's good it means this is working I've also noticed there's a very familiar face inside the tesseract um, which is a bit creepy this is hooked up to the base's main power frequency number one as you can see main power uh, we've got a couple of other things going on here but they're not for me to worry about look how fast our quarry is going though it's incredible this thing's going to finish very very quickly indeed and I hope it actually does mine out some quartz for us I've battled about six or seven hellhounds just to get in here and set this quarry up so I really do hope that it was worthwhile in the end otherwise I'm going to be very very hacked off um, this is actually moving so fast that it's lagging I find that quite funny look at it go oh well there's a hellhound hang on I've got to try and fight this thing off now promise it sets fire to me and that's what kills me and I have a horrible feeling it's going to kill me again Die! Die, 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 die! Ah, it's on fire! I'm on fire! <sighs> That's lucky. That was lucky. I need to fix that hole. I need to heal now. Why is there a chicken in here as well? That's something I don't understand. Yes, that's working. I just saw it digging something out, which looked like cobblestone, but it was digging it out, so that's cool. Right, I'm now going to keep a very, very, very observant eye out on what's around me. If I take that out, they shouldn't be able to get up to me. I'm going to turn my magnet off. They shouldn't be able to get up to me now. We've got some pigmen down there. I thought they'd protect me. Down below me is the, uh, the safe room. And there's our nether portal. That room down there is full of zombie pigmen, and yet not one of them came to my aid when I was attacked by the hellhound. So I'm very, very miffed about that. I have some serious questions to ask the pigmen as to why they don't protect the humans. they got some explaining to do. Right, our quarry is zipping along. For some reason it hasn't destroyed those blocks that the uh, lava is on top of. And I'm curious as to why. It looks like it is just nether rack. But even so. Right. So this should find us some quartz. I believe this carries on even when I'm not here. So in theory I can just leave this to get on with it. So I think I'm going to do that. It shouldn't dig out anything majorly important. Just this tree. Wherever this is. Block leaves dot name. It's got a very good name then I see. 
But yeah, that's zipping along, so that should that should finish it off quite nicely. So I'm going to hop back in here and go back to the overworld, hopefully without any uh, hellhounds. What's attacking me? Whoa, why is that zombie pigman attacking me? Stop attacking me! <laughs> Damn you! What on earth? I'm getting out of here. I don't want to be in here anymore. <laughs> Get me home. Oh god, there better not be any in this room. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Open the door, open the door. <sighs> yeah, they want to kill me. You can tell they want to kill me. They're not happy to see me alive. Yeah, I'm not going to go anywhere near that. Ten minutes, I think, is the countdown time. So I'm just going to stay away from there for ten minutes or so. And, yeah, basically, keep away from them. Now, what we've got to do is... Go into here. Oh, this will show us whether this is working or not. This is our nether rack storage. Hmm, that number's not going up. Let me just go down here and make sure that everything in here is working okay. Is this working? Oh yeah, the nether rack's flying through. So let me just chuck this stuff in as well. It is quite cool how this system we've got here works now. Uh, anything that needs... What's this one? Obsidian chest. Ah, this is where it goes. Okay. So actually, there's loads of quartz ore here. Way too many quartz ore. Pig iron. Sapphire. Peridot. Gold. Look at the gold. Diamond. Coal as well. So I should have just come down here and grab some of these. I don't actually know what... Could these go in a pulverizer? That's iron ore. Can I put this in here? Yes. I'm, someone's probably going to tell me in the comments now this isn't the most efficient way to do it. Also, actually, I've just realised... Yeah, of course this is going to end up here. Scrap that idea. I'll take these out. Right. Yep, scrap that idea. We'll go upstairs, we'll use the pulverizer up top. This one over here. So we're getting plenty of quartz now, which I'm really, really pleased with. There's no more quartz in here, is there? No. And there's nothing in this hopper. Oh, there's a torch. My torch now. There we go. So this machine will work long and hard to create the quartz for us. But, as for this episode, guys, I think we've pretty much reached the end. So, this will probably go out a little bit late tonight. Today is Tuesday. Um, I do apologise if that is the case. I'll do my best to get this up on time. But I can never be too certain with the my editing software. It can be a little bit um, moody at times as to whether it does or doesn't work uh, as, as efficiently as I'd like it to. So I'll try my best to get it up on time. And if it is a little bit late, then I do apologise. But until Saturday, is that the next episode or Sunday? I, I think it's Saturdays I do this now. Saturdays and Tuesdays. So until then, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you. Thank you guys for your continued support. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And until next time, I will see you soon.